Now, dry eye symptoms are not all the same. There's a type of dry eye symptom that often is characterized by vision that switches from blurry to clear or just different degrees of blurriness. Now, understandably, this can be very worrying from a safety point of view or sheer frustration to anyone suffering from intermittent blurry vision. In this video, I'll explain why dry eye causes blurry vision and highlight the benefits of mucolytic eye drops, which most people don't know about, but might be exactly what you need. Hey, welcome back. I'm optometrist Martin Aguzzi and this channel is all about helping you to see better, see more comfortably and keeping your eyes precious. If you're new here, the best way you can support what we do here is simply by engaging in the comment section, liking this video. And if you get value from the content on this channel, then subscribing really goes a long way to helping me grow things. Now, it's very common for me to get patients in clinic with blurry vision that clears one minute and then is blurred the next. Just recently, I was speaking to a lady that was so worried about the impact this was having on her ability to drive safely. She would often get her vision being clear and she's driving along and then in the next instance, everything is completely blurred. On examination of her tear film, it was clear that she was experiencing evaporative dry eye that was leaving behind lots of mucus, uh, causing what I often term as a blurry dry eye. And this is relatively common, but can be worse for some people compared to others. So let's have a look at what's going on. Our tears are made up of three layers or phases as we often call it clinically. You have the outer oily phase, the middle watery phase and the innermost mucus phase. Each layer is produced by different pores and glands and a well-performing tear film has a balanced amount of each layer to ensure stable tear coverage over the surface of the eye. Now each tear layer has its own function. The oily layer is most resistant to evaporative loss so acts as a protection for the water layer underneath from contact with the air and evaporation. The watery layer brings hydration, metabolites and oxygen exchange needed to the corneal cells on the surface of the eyes as well as providing antibacterial protection for the eye. And finally the mucus layer serves to coat the surface of the eye and acts as a gentle bond that spreads the watery layer evenly over the surface of the eye. Now the problem of blurry dry eye arises when a sequence of unfortunate events kick in usually beginning with the oily layer of our tears becoming thin, patchy or non-existent due to the myobomine glands that release this oily layer becoming clogged up. As a result, the watery layer now becomes in direct contact with the atmosphere, causing the water layer to evaporate quickly. And this breakdown in tear film balance now results in a more highly concentrated tear film that has more mucus in it and the balance of the tear layers or being disrupted. The result is a more greasy blurry vision that will suffer from more inflammation and poor clarity, requiring you to blink more, which further adds to the problem. So what do most people do? I think instinctively they grab artificial tears, maybe ones that say lubricating or long lasting, and sometimes these help, but a lot of the time it doesn't help at all. And here's why. Many standard eye drops focus on replacing the water layer of our tears, restoring hydration. They rinse the eye briefly, but don't address the mucus imbalance and the associated problems of this, such as increased surface inflammation. Now, if your tear film is unstable because of mucus buildup, poor mucin quality, which is the stuff that makes up the mucus layer, or surface inflammation, you need more than hydration. You need something that can actually clear up the gunk and reset your tear film. And this is where mucolytic eye drops come in. These drops are formulated to gently break down the excess sticky mucus on the surface of the eye. They don't just mask dryness, they help restore clarity by improving the tear film's ability to spread evenly over the eye. Acetylcysteine, N-acetylcysteine, or also known as NAC, is a common example of a mucolytic agent that is able to break down mucus. In places like the US, NAC is FDA approved for some uses. In the UK, acetylcysteine is available as a prescription only medication eye drop called iLube. Now, iLube is a mucolytic eye drop capable of breaking down stubborn mucus tear film and support production of normal mucus quality. The problem with it being a prescription only product is that its availability is controlled, and this means it can't just be bought over the counter. It's also not a widely discussed product. 
as most prescribing clinicians may not even be aware of iLube as an option outside of the eye hospital environment. So having knowledge about the availability of this may help you open up discussion with your family doctor or eye care professional about it. This could then lead to a prescription for iLube or a similar product depending where you live in the world um, or it may lead to a referral to a prescriber that's able to give you access to this kind of product after an assessment. Now fortunately most people shouldn't be in a situation uh, where they have to resort to a mucolytic eye drop to resolve their blurry dry eye and in fact it shouldn't be the first go-to solution because in most cases um, speaking to your eye care specialist about resolving your blocked meibomian gland and improving your oily layer should be an adequate solution. Now situations where this has been going on for some time then an aggressive dry eye regime with preservative free products for at least a few weeks should be followed using typically sodium hyaluronate based lubricants and an appropriate hygiene routine for your eyelids should be adopted. You can also use lubricant products like Cystein Balance that is designed to replace the oily layer of our tears while working on unblocking your meibomian glands in order to try and uh, get that restoration of the oily layer naturally. At this point if none of this is working for you then you may well be a candidate for mucolytic products like iLube in order to reset your mucus layer as part of an overall management strategy. Blurry vision caused by dry eye is more common than most people realize and it's not just uncomfortable. It affects your focus, your productivity and your quality of life. So don't settle for generic solutions if you feel like you've tried it all before. If your eyes feel dry and your vision goes blurry, you may benefit from something like the mucolytic product that we've talked about here in order to reset your eyes and reset your tear film layer like we talked about. But this is a discussion that you have to have with your eye care provider if it's not available over the counter in your country. Now, if you made it this far in the video or you get value from these videos on this channel, then do hit that like button and show your support further by subscribing to the channel and following along to my content in the future. Uh, thank you so much. I wanna hear from you guys. Leave me a comment in the comment section below about your experience with dry eyes and blurry dry eyes, how it impacts your vision, how it impacts your lifestyle as well. Thanks so much for watching. Keep your eyes precious by checking out one of my other videos on this page.